Welcome to another Alex Geometry Topic instructional video by Mr. Hardy. What we're going to work on is actually one of my favorite uh, problems because it looks scary, I think. It looks complicated, but it's actually pretty easy. What we want to do is we want to find the perimeter of this shape, okay? And so think of it this way. Think of this as like a park. Big, well, it says inches, so I guess it's a pretty small park. But it's we're going to walk this distance, and then this distance, and then this distance. And then we're going to walk this half a circle, this half of the circumference of this circle, and get back to here. That's what we want to know. Okay? So the perimeter uh, of the whole thing would be this side, let's call this side 1 and side 2 and side 3. We're going to add those up. So the perimeter would be side 1 plus side 2 plus side 3 and then plus, now if this circle continued out here, that would be the circumference. But we're only going to walk half the circle. So I'm going to say one half the circumference. Okay, so S1 would be the same as S3, right? These, th this is like a rectangle. So this would be 30 plus uh, 20 plus 30 plus one half. And what's the formula? The formula for circumference is 2 pi r. So it would be 1 half of 2 times 3.14. And then, look, if, if this, this is, would be the diameter, this distance, well, we know that's 20. We know it's 20. So what's halfway? Halfway would be 10. So the radius is 10. So I'm going to say times 10. Okay, so 30 plus 20 is 50, plus 30 is 80. And then 2 divided by 2, that goes away. And then 10 times 3.14, well, the decimal is going to shift, so it's going to be 31.4. So I don't even need the calculator. You could use the calculator. Nothing wrong with that. So we get uh, 0.41. A plus 3 is 11. So I get 111.4. It's perimeter in inches. Because it's, it's distance. It's inches. Okay. Now if you wanted to use the calculator, you can. You can just, let's just do this real quick. Clear. Why don't we do this part first? 2 times 3.14 times 10 equals divided by 2. Oops. Go back. How do you go back? Divided by 2 equals, okay, now plus 30 plus 20 plus 30. Okay? Uh, there we go. It worked. Uh, let's do one more. This time we want to find the perimeter. So you can kind of think of it as we have a rectangle. Now the, the only reason I point that out is so that you can see that if this is 89 right here, then this is 89 right here. So if we're going to walk all the way around this, like a football a racetrack. Notice that you're going to walk half of a circle here, and then you're going to walk half of a circle here, which means one whole circle. So the perimeter is going to equal this side, side one. Let's call that side one, side two. So it's going to be side one plus side 2 just plus the circumference of one circle because half of it's here and half of it's over there. 
Okay, so now we just plug and play. So that's 89 plus 89 plus, uh, and then circumference is 2 pi r. So it's going to be 2 times 3.14. And what would the radius be? Well, again, we'll do it over here. This would be the diameter, and that's 64. So the radius would be half of that, be 64 divided by 2. So um, half of 6 is 3. Half of 4 is... Uh, uh, two, so it'd be 32. Okay, all right. So if you're pressed for time, we can just go to the calculator. I'm going to do this stuff first. So two times 3.14 times 32 equals plus 89 plus 89 equals. So I get. 3786 3, 378.96 and that's going to be meters so that's the perimeter okay so it's not too bad but you have to know the formula for the circumference of a circle if you haven't done that yet make sure that you write that in your notebook somewhere okay good luck